of activity during uh, the day, during the night, sorry. And uh, it just tells you how important this election is to a number of, uh, to a lot of Kenyans, actually. And right now, from where we are, just a few minutes to 6 p.m., to 6 a.m., you see a lot of, a, a very big crowd, uh, which, are, which is actually wondering why they have not been allowed to just vote as early as it could have been at 5, at 5 a.m. Now, uh, this election will be very important, especially to the residents of this uh, area, because when we were talking to them earlier on, they, they, they seem to have a, a, a lot of expectations from uh, uh, the, the leaders they are going to either elect or re-elect into, into power. Uh, it is also important to watch out on, on this particular election, because... Uh, of the 19 million, it's uh, important to know that uh, over half of that are people aged between 18 and 35 years of age. So that comes to tell you something. And what does that tell you? It tells you that uh, the future of this country from this particular election lies in the hands of uh, the youth. Remember, uh, this, this, this election is uh, one very historic election. This election is going to be a historic one, no matter the outcome, because of the number of things I've told you, including the number of voters, the highest ever in history, the, 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 the highest number of youth ever, and uh, that, of course, being that, that of course being a very important thing to watch out for. Now, uh, round youth just behind me, trying to. We're actually standing somewhere on the road, and uh, there's a very huge crowd that is uh, blocking the road. So you see a number of vehicles trying to, to make their make their way. But uh, to just continue. Maybe I'll try to talk to some of the residents here to know what they expect from this from this particular from this particular election and uh, probably what time they they got to this uh, particular place. So I don't know if I can talk to you, sir. Jinalako Tafadali. Mi neto Nixon kitonga kasuya. Tu mi amuki mi amuka mapema kujeta tu exercise our right. Ju tu mi umia. Nataka kujagua wale viongozi watatusaidia kesho na wale viongozi wata tumeki mshuja hizi kuwe mzuri tumeumia so labda wewe umefika hapa saa ngapi vile mimi nimefika hapa saa 9 saa 9 saa 9 asubuhi oh sawa kwa, kwa hivyo wewe kuningana huu uchaguzi umekuwa ukijipanga namna gani maana yake kumekuwa na wito watu kuweza kutaka kwamba pawepo na amani mmetia mikakati ipi kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweza kuwa na uchaguzi ambao ni wa amani na ambao ni tulivu okay ile kitu na ile sema ni kwamba tunaomba hii uchaguzi kuwe amani uchaguzi yenye ita juu i Kenya ni yetu na sisi wote ni wa Kenya tunahitaji amani sisi kazi yetu ni kupiga kura sio kupigana ushapiga kura tunaenda nyumbani tungoje matoke, matokeo tumejipanga na kura tunajipanga na vita na hakuna vita sioni vita ikitokea popote pale well i'll also be trying to speak to probably another resident but just to remind you about remember we have been covering this for you the entire night just trying to know the eve of this election what has been happening in the night you'll remember that uh, as 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 late or rather uh, as early as 2:30 am a number of uh, dispatch centers which were to dispatch materials to be used in this election had not already done so uh, uh, just to know that uh, in this particular polling station we have not been actually able to we have not actually been able to to access the the polling center because of the huge rowdy uh, crowd that uh, that is blocking that way but we might be trying to do that for you in a in a in a short while but uh, earlier on when we were at areas like uh, Jamhuri which was dis which was distributing voting materials uh, to the to Starehe constituency a very very instrumental constituency that is uh, uh, given that it, it hosts almost the highest number of polling stations, over 200 of them to be specific. And when we were there, of course, high security, uh, ensuring that the dispatch, the dispatch of such material is protected and uh, also to make sure that everyone, uh, we actually witnessed a number of um, presiding officers and their deputies uh, being very categorical on not taking any of those materials that, were, that had any form of defection, including broken uh, including br broken uh, ballot boxes and, uh, and and such. No problem. Be I, I talk to one more. Acha nizungumuza na mama hapa bariako. Mzuri sana. Kwa jina labda tuambie jina lako na wewe ulifika hapa saa ngapi na matarajio yako ni umalize kupiga kura saa ngapi? Mimi naitwa Faith Jerono. Nimekuwa hapa saa 7. In fact leo sijalala. 
kenye natarajia mimi kama mkenya credible and fair election tunataka tujague viongozi ambao watatushu watatufanyie kenya wanasema hatutaki story namba 2 peace mimi kama mama ndiko na watoto amani hiyo ndio natarajia Yeah, Cherono, they are telling us that uh, what is more important to her in this particular election is to ensure that she elects a leader who is going to do what they say. After all, that's what leaders uh, have, have actually been, uh, be, been expected to do in a number of years, doing what they say. And she's also instrumental in saying, she's also very instrumental uh, in this election as a, as a mother because she says that she expects there to be peace for uh, the sake of her children, so I suppose. So probably just to tell you once again is that... Uh, Political analysts have been very, very specific on the fact that this election is going to be determined by the voter turnout. And uh, if we will be able to give you some of these shots later on, you will realize that uh, there have been very, very huge crowds around this place from as early as uh, midnight. There were a lot of people around the area. Voters, they are, out in their, they are out in their numbers. It tells you just how important this election could be uh, to them. And just to reiterate that particular point, you'll realize again, this election is historic. No matter the outcome, no matter the results, it is an election that is very instrumental for the country. Given uh, that a number of voters uh, are aged between the ages of 18 and 35, probably uh, just still telling you that uh, those, uh, the future of the country lies in the hands of uh, the youth in, in this uh, country. Uh, we could also try to speak to one more person here to just get to know how they expect to vote and when they actually expect to do so. Tunazungumza na wewe labda. Yeah. Naambia labda jina lako ni nani na unatarajia kupiga kura saa ngapi na ulifika hapa saa ngapi matarajio yako tu vile? Naitwa Kate Catherine Nyambura. Natarajia kupiga kura. By the way tulikuwa tunatarajia by side tunaweza tungekuwa tumeshapiga tukaenda kulala. Lakini bado tunatarajia tuliko kwa foreni tutagoja tugoje tugoje mpaka tuende kanani ama mali popote tutaenda Uh, that is just one of the viewers there giving us uh, her views uh, that they'll keep waiting for as long as it takes to ensure that they cast their ballot. I don't think uh, they have been here this early or rather they have been here that early for them to give up uh, on this. I don't know how many minutes we are but just a few minutes to 6 p to 6 a.m. and that is the expected time when uh, the polls are expected uh, to open. So that is what is on the ground right here in uh, Embakasi Mukuru educational center polling station Imara Daima ward a very huge crowd behind me in front of me all over all these voters expected to cast their vote any moment from now when the polling center opens and we'll keep you up to date with those details and across the country because that is what exactly we are here to do uh, back to you if there's if <laughs> All right, uh, there is uh, Brian Obuya, Francis Ntoma, Mashirima 